Oh, yeah. It's uh, a little early for a review, you say? Well, Uncle Bolkow's in the building. Mrs. Bolkow is still sleeping. But anyways, guys, I had to jump on here and do a review be for two reasons. For one, last night, our whole video came out with no audio. Right now, I did not plug the mic in because I don't want a chance losing the audio of this one. But we reviewed three awesome peppers from Linda's Fiery Treats. And um, well, one was, I remember, a white ghost crossed with a yellow Dugla. The other one was a BBG Naga Orange. And the other one was a Congo Gigantic Mustard. And they were excellent. That yellow pod, you guys know I'm a sucker for yellow pods. That yellow pod was just superior. <laughs> Rum raisin apple pie jam. Th this is why I'm doing this because guess what? I can't wait no longer for this. I, I I've I've only had it for two days and I haven't opened it yet, and that's that's far too long. So this is from Linda's Fiery Treats. Um, you can check her out at lindasfierytreats.com, or you can check her out here on Facebook, on Instagram. I'm trying to, oh, she's got this is sealed. All right. Rum raisin apple pie jam. Oh, it smells awesome. I got a piece of, um, so we're going we're gonna to go in for a solo bite first. Oh, this is just so good. It's It smells so good and it's so chunky. I've never seen anything like this, guys. Wow. Okay, now I feel the heat. Mmm. I've never had anything like it. <clears throat> now, I've heard of rum raisin cakes, jams, maybe other desserts. But I've never tried rum raisin anything. I've seen some vo folks reviewing this on YouTube, and they just they went nuts over it. So now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put some on some. I have a piece of um, buttered organic sourdough here. That's spicy too. Whoo! It's got good heat to it. Not burn your face off hot, but. Man, just the right amount. So uh, let's go in with uh with, with some toast. Wow. Words cannot describe how good this is. Of course, it's sweet. It's a jam. It's chunky. You get a piece of apple, pieces of apple in there, raisins. Perfect consistency. And the spice on it is perfect. Perfect. Mmm. Glad Mrs. Bokow isn't eating sugar. Because if she was, that would be gone. I would go to work. I would come home. And it would be gone. Listen. You guys trust me. You guys know if I give a good review to something, it's good. This is different. This is not just, I suggest this. This is not just, I recommend this. This is, you have to go get it. If you don't like it, I'll buy it from you. Can you imagine that? Money back guarantee. Just don't um, don't double dip in the jar like I did. Buy it, take a spoon, put on some toast. If you don't like it, get a hold of me. I'll buy it all from you. This is the first time I've ever actually had a jam preserved jelly. Any kind of any one of those that had heat to it. I've had pepper jellies a bunch of times. Most of them I can't stand. Um, but none of them had any heat ever. 
whether they're made with cayenne, whether they're jalapeno. They haven't had no heat. And they're just, just taste like peppers, cheap peppers, <laughs> you know? This is next level. So tonight, we do have a few pods left that Linda sent us. Um, we will review them. The worst thing is that we don't always review a bunch of pods in one video. We, t we like to do them separately. And for some reason last night, it was real late. We don't ever even do videos that late. Something was just off. Um, me and Mrs. Bokow were extremely tired. She was hardly talking in the video, but we decided to do all three at once. Well, I wasn't paying attention and I didn't check and see if my, if the audio was recording, I get a notification, um, with, when the mic's plugged in, I didn't see it, but I had three peppers in front of my hand, trying to show them that you got, you know, you start the video out. <clears throat> And when it was over, I had a bad feeling. And the worst thing was those peppers were so different. Like, it, 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 it was good to do them together in one way because you can compare the differences. The yellow, um, the yellow Douglas White Ghost. So the yellow pod was one of the most citrusy pods I've had. It had a citrusy, that a little sweet notes. I'd say, I mean, that was... That was right up there. And flavor-wise, top five. It had good heat, too. But um, then the, we went on to that, to the bubblegum naga, which had just a little bit of sweet in the beginning. And then the heat started, and there was no bitterness or floralness with it. And then we ate the, um, the Congo gigantic mustard. And that pod was earthy. Now, listen, it wasn't earthy like a bootla. It was. It didn't have the, the bitterness, or the floralness to it. Really good, and it was three completely different tastes in peppers, and completely different color. So you guys go check out Linda's Fiery Treats .com or get in touch with her on Facebook. Uh, you have to have this. I, I I can't. There's no. There's nothing else I can say. You have to have this. I'm telling you. I've seen some people eating this. And I was just like, whoa. I'm like, I've always wanted to try something rum raisin. I just never had it. Now being I was a chef 20 years working in all kinds of kitchens. I just uh just never ran across it. But I'm glad I got it. Thank you, Linda. Get at Lindasfirytreats.com and get you some. <laughs>